George, and in this Quailfish 12G video, I'll be talking about something that I'm constantly looking for quick and easy solutions to. Sitting in front of my tank and enjoying the fish and coral is one of my favorite things to do. I bet many of you can relate though that the maintenance involved with this hobby is not so fun. I personally despise water changes and will do anything I can to prolong them by keeping my nitrates low. I sadly indulge in many of the products that claim to reduce nitrates and phosphates and like to see how they work or compare. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how Polyp Labs NitroGuard BioCubes have been holding up for me over the last six months. As many of you know, Polyp Lab is known to make great products like Reef Roids, um, and so when I saw that they had a nitrate and phosphate removal product, I had to try it out. These NitroGuard cubes are made from 100% biologically degradable polymers that claim to remove both nitrates and phosphates from both marine and freshwater systems. The NitroGuard BioCubes come in different sizes. These are the smallest size ones they have. They're priced relative to any other carbon products on the market. On the right is the regular version, and then on the left is the titanium version, which is supposed to be stronger. I tested my 30-gallon reef aquarium with the regular one. When you open it up, you'll see it comes with a free filter bag, although they can be used in fluidized reactors and denitrators. Right away, you'll notice how uniquely shaped they are. Their shape is what gives them the advantage over their competitors because they contain a very high surface area and a 400% more carbohydrates than any other brand. I will quickly show you how to set them up. I'm not going to lie, having to set these biocubes up is a tedious hassle that you won't have to do with other carbon products. So first, you need to take the amount of cubes you will need and soak them in water for 24 hours. Then you put them in the filter bag, but for the best results, it's really important you place an air stone at the bottom of the bag so that the air circulates up and through the cubes. Coordinating this so that the bag is secure takes some time and practice. But once you have it all tied up and ready to go, you just place them near a protein skimmer to assist in removing the nitrate and phosphate rich biomass faster. And then after one to two weeks, the bacteria colonies will become prolific enough to start lowering the nitrate levels in your aquarium. I used this product for six months and my review is as follows. It is annoying how long it takes for me to set up and change out the product. However, BioCubes require no maintenance and require no feeding dosages, which means that once it's in the tank, I don't have to touch it again for four to six months. So they do their job for a long time. Uh, I also tested it and saw that there was no effect on pH or alkalinity uh, while lowering nitrate and phosphates, which was really good. Uh, another thing that was good I noticed was that I didn't get such a strong buildup of algae on my tank's glass. And I did find myself getting about a week longer before I had to do a water change. The worst negative about it is how loud it was. Uh, I don't have a canopy, so that might be the reason why, but the airstone uh, did make my filter significantly louder since the bubbles eventually reached the top of the water line. Overall, Polyp Lab came through for me, and I'll likely continue to use this product if I can stop my nitrate removal product search. Uh, let me know if any of you have experience with this product in the comments below. I want to know. Thanks for watching this Coalfish Trilogy video. George, out.